Okay, when you first unzip WP Flex, inside it you'll see two folders, one called Multiflex and one called Single Flex. The one called Multiflex is to be used on your own sites, that's what the license agreement uh, allows you to do, and there's no footer credit link to me. The one called Single Flex is to be used on sites where you might sell them. For example, if you're a site flipper and you're making sites to sell on eBay or SitePoint, you would make your website with single flex and uh, include the license for single flex with it when you sell your website. To upload uh, WP Flex to your site, you need to go inside the file because they're nested. So say we want to upload the multiflex one, click on the file and inside it you will see a folder called custom. So I'm just going to open up my FTP client at the moment, so I'll just pause the video while I do that, and then we'll upload the custom folder to our website. Okay, I'm in uh, my domain that I've set up as a test site to show you how to install Flex. Um, and this is my test site, it's a subdomain. And now I just need to open up my WP content folder because WordPress is already installed on this site. So I'm just going to double click it to open. And I need to also open up the themes folder because that's where I'm going to upload the custom WP Flex theme. On my desktop, I already have my WP Flex theme at the ready in this folder. So I'm going to upload the MultiFlex theme and there's that custom folder. I just right click on here to upload and I'll just pause the video while that's doing that. Okay, Flex is finished uploading so I'm going to close out of FileZilla and log into the back end of my WordPress site. So I'll just pause the video while I do that. Okay, here I am in the back end of my test site and if we scroll down we'll see that WP Flex is one of the available themes. So I'll just click on that to activate it just like you would any other theme and we click on this link here to activate it in WordPress 2.6. Now we'll just visit the site and just make sure it all worked well. Okay, I've got it open in my new browser so we'll just press refresh and there we go. All installed and it's the default two side files. Okay, so now we'll go into the back end and start making some changes which I'll put in the next video.